morning, ladies and gentlemen. I just thank you so much for being with us on Women of the Stars. Today I'm here with, uh, I'm the First Lady Erica, and I'm here with Terry Smith, my partner in Canada, and the beautiful Ursula Carascala Vizareta <laughs> from Peru. This beautiful woman, um, a light being who just loves Sophia and Gaia and respects the earth so much. And she's a part of a beautiful medicine movement since 2020. But I really wanted her to explain exactly where her mission is because when, when I had the opportunity to speak to her, it was just so delightful. And one of the things that really stood out is she said, anything I say with my mouth, I have to do with my hands. So if I say that I love the earth with my mouth, then I need to do something about it with my hands. And I just thought, oh my God, it just, it stood out to me and it was very powerful. And I just knew that you were just a beautiful lady. Look at her with her beautiful flower in her hair, full of life and full of color. And she has a beautiful mission. And I want you to be able to tell us who you are and just what is it and why is this so important for you? What the movement is and why it's so important important to you hi well first of all welcome to my space here in peru uh erica and derby uh who i am and why i'm here well this is very interesting work but i can tell you that i have more than one uh, spectrum of myself or one of more projection of myself because when i see myself in the other side in the other dimensions i can have like certain different versions of me and one of them is being a fractal of the master Quan Jin. so i don't see my own face in my mirror if you can if you can tell that in the in the fractal way only when i project myself in the mirror who is in this world that we are right now creating in the quantum time so is this is Complex to tell who I am because I will tell you I am Ursula Carrascal Bizarreta from Peru, but I never see myself as a one that who lives in a specific territory because I see myself as a universal being. When you say describe your home, I will see the earth or the people called earth, but for me is Sophia, this beautiful planet from outside the planet. I don't see inside a plant, the planet. I see my home from the outsider. So I see the full planet. And the full planet in that is in that projection of myself is so blue. So blue is the energy who is ruling this now, this time in Aquarius time, this part of the universe, because even though the, uh, this planet, many people say this is a school planet, is a place to experiment, um, you know, different kind of versions of who we are. In my uh, relationship, is a planet who was designed to keep the balance of love in other planets around in the solar system. So my role, when you say who you are, why you are here, is to rise up the frequency of the blue print planet. Rise up the frequency of the blue print planet. You can tell that is what I write now, uh, getting us in information because I am an open channel. That means I am a medium. So I receive and speak through my high self. In the same moment, I am connected with you, Eric and Terry. It's not anything planet. It's like everything, even like new uh, information about me is being getting right now. And what for me is, wow, is okay. So they are bringing me more details about my role and what i saw about me who is this version of 12 or 13 beings is 
a one who came to rule the frequency of the blueprint in this planet. And I see a cluster of energies is what we call the flower, you know, the tree of the flower, the flower of life, excuse me, the flower of life. And to keep the flower of life in this blueprint, to make Venus as a planet, to continue being our main major teacher, because Venus is the planet who has been helping Sophia to keep on beside all these terrible situations we face for our planet in the Lemurians Atlantic times. And then there is another specific moment that uh, we can call the moment when the planet could has been disappeared in the current time that was in the second war in Japan with the two atomic bombs. And this is uh, information I just got more clear in my last workshop I made about um, divine spirits from the forest. And the connection with Japan was so strong. And they were speaking about the bombs, the atomic bombs exploded. They were controlled by other interdimensional beings. But this is a very, very complex to, to, to tell to the audience what's happened about with these bombs, and it wasn't that the first one major bombs has been exploded in this planet. This already happened in Atlantic time, and that is why we go to the zero point in a moment, because we needed to be reset to be able to avoid being destroyed as a planet, because this planet is so important for the other systems. And you know, in the cosmic way, in the cosmic uh, spectrum, of uh, framework. So I am here. You can call me with a name that you would like. You can call me Aurora. You can call me Juan G. You can call me Ursula. You can tell Estera. You can call me Mama Oyo. You can call me with the name of Maria Antonieta. You can call me with different names. I, I had a previous life having a role, a very important role in different kingdoms. But who I am. Uh, this presence of me in this moment, I didn't come with the crown of the humans being holding my crown for the egos. Whole people see about who has been the divinity and they put us as in temples, but no, anymore, no. Most of the other one, the one who has a very important role that has been the fractals or a changers, interdimensional beings, masters ascended. We can in very simple ways of living. You can call us workers. You can call us with different ways, but we are not in the top positions because it's the only way we can do this in a very simple way to connect with other people, with other people. So me in this way, when I am connected with the everything, with the unity, we I connect with the clusters of the flowers life, is me as a lotus flower in the middle of Agartha, of the inner soul of the planet. We can we have two planets in one, inside one planet. We have one planet that is a core that is in the middle of center of this Sophia. And then we have outsider planet that where we are right now. So we are two in one, masculine and divine, but actually the function is like one. So me, when I do my astral travels, I go to a garden. And there is when the lotus flower blossom, you know, came, in a beautiful white energy, the white quartz that is the quartz of Lemurian time. So I hold the Lemurian energy. And we are not alone because as me, there are others. So normally we are like 12. That's a very important number about the one who rules the planet. Number 12, you know, 12 at 12, 12. 
a fractal of our cell divided in 12 or 13 when you are outside the planet. So that's why the layers of the planet is 13 layers. There's a maximum level of the chakra system, if you can call in the name, this planet can hold as a planet. So that's who I am, that's why um, my, my work is a lot with the manifestation of God in action. I am 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 God in action. The Mudian language appears to understand the, uh, one, the one who has these uh, functions, we hold the energy of Lemuria. So to be a warden of Lemurian to be, means to be calm in that unity. See energies around can me, around me can change and we can change everything around. Um, that is why being me is so water. Being a protector of the ocean of the water, of lakes, lagoons, and rivers is because I am protecting the uh, the blueprint network of this planet because the blueprint is in the water. It's in the water. Like Saka, six Sara, what six six you, Alexa, you six you, Sophia. Water blueprint sikaka woka ki soa wateka water eleka when the world will understand water is everything then tears emotions will start appearing in humans the fray to cry of men when masculine divine is going to be installed in the blueprint is when every single man is able to cry again. So big guardian or Kixisa Sophia also means to be guardian of any being that has water inside themselves. So the ocean, the ocean is divided and that is a very important information from humans to the, to tell you when Lemurian existed before we were no flesh we were no skin we were no bones and organs we were mostly energy when the planet go to zero point again the water that was in this planet, because part of the water disappeared, eighty percent of the water disappeared when the planet had suffered the explosion of Atlantic. Ten percent of the under surface, ten to twenty percent, no, twelve, twelve, sixteen percent that was covered by water go rise it up. So now we call them continents. But before in Lemurian time, they were only, only islands. So only 10% was able to be observed, you know, wash it. But everything was underwater because this is a planet of water. It's a planet of the blue energy. Okay. But when the planet descended, the water that was missing was transferred into the bodies of humans, you, what you call plants, and into the animals. So we hold 
the blueprint of Lemuria to our bodies. We are like recipients of water with less. So that is very important. Water is no outside humans. The blueprint of the planet is already inside the humans, already in the plants, already in the animals. So when we see the planet from outside, we see more blue that normally NASA shows in the photos from the Earth, from Sophia. Because the blue energy is holding by any kind of being that have liquid inside their bodies. So when you say the awareness of this planet is only about working to protect the ocean, the river, no. Is speaking about also to protect and rise up the energy of the humans and all kind of things, because all they have the blueprint of the planet. So a healer must to see the world from the perception of the blueprint energy. That means the blue energy, who is already inside each one of us. You can see my work, you can say my work as a healer is only with this specific kind of plants or territories. You can't tell this is good and this is bad because I don't follow your religion. I don't believe in this kind of method, no. The, the one who has the missions to be guardians of the blueprint of this planet has to become eagles. They need to see the world from the top and not from here, has to become in this, to see with the eyes towards to the ground. So you will see everything as one. No, everything as divided. No, everything in portions. You know, because division is what creates all these problems for the last years and years and years, for centuries, about among humans, you know, because they decided to see God in portions of God and created religions and has not able to see God as one. And in this moment, when they asked me, I was ready to accomplish my missions. So I decided in my high self, I will not follow one religion because I can't. I love all them, all religions. Like Sika, Sika, Lati, Uhu, Kikisa. I said all them and to work with all them, not doing any kind of criticisms, criticisms, not telling you are best on your words, just accepting that princess, presence of God in that version of God because humans are only able to see that portion of God because fears, afraid, sadness, pain, block that union, the divine union. Humans will understand that in a biological way, in a science way, water is being transmuted in each part of their bodies. They will understand that water is not only outside, no, it's only about taking care of the water of others. You 
us, we have to take care of the water that belongs to us because this is a portion of the ocean. When from Atlantic to the zero point, because we got again another opportunity or rather say the earth caught as an entire being, a new opportunity to reset. So the rest of the water that disappear, as you know, nothing is disappeared. Actually, the world was in the right world. Nothing died, everything is transformed. So the water that wasn't not able to be anymore, transmuted and transformed in water inside containers. It was the only way how this planet could continue surviving. And now all these millions, millions, millions of humans, they are right now alive as biological beings in this planet, are helping to carry the Lemuria frequency to their own bodies. But they don't know they are already divine. They don't know they have a code of the blueprint of the planet, so they don't take care of their lives. Because they don't see themselves as portions of God. They think God is outside in the temple. Yes, I am a guardian of the blueprint, and part of my mission, that's why, is also to help humans to rise up their frequency codes in the blueprint that is already inside them, and how to actions. Because that's why you have a human body, is to make the blueprint be you know, like expanding, but the only way anything can get expanded or working needs to be in action. If water is not boiling, you know, if the water solid is not boiling, it doesn't get 100 centimeters to get boiled, there is no activation of the water. Water always must be in action, always, can be in one specific place. So the water that is inside the humans is so important because can change every reality to movement. Movement is the divine quality giving to any kind of being to rise up the blueprint of this planet. Without divine movement, the planet is dead. It is so beautiful to understand and to realize why we are has been put in different places of this planet or we travel. We travel from one place to another doing movements. No? Doing movement. More than Lemurian destruction is Lemurian activation to our current bodies. Lemuria is inside us. Exactly, and we don't need to get into panic to understand the planet is becoming Lemurian again, and many territories that we already know are going to disappear because it's what is what is what 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 is really destined. This is a planet of water. So, from the twenty percent, ten percent, or fifty percent, we only survive as continent. Because to rise up the energy of the planet, the planet must become again more water. 
So you will say, but what will happen with all the human beings that are living right now in this territory that are destined to, you know, disappear where they will need to start working in an island system, islands. As islands, you know, special portions, like clusters of energy. So instead to see us as a flat territory, we have to see us like the point of the icebergs and create micro communities, you know, micro communities and connected to networks. That is what's going to work with new, um, the new planet. No anymore as we are seeing right now the planet as a flat. So the conception about continents is going to change in the future. Then who a country would say this belongs to me because there will be so many, like for example, places already has been rising up energies from Lemuria, like Sweden. They are a country that you see this, uh, the summatory of micro islands. So that is how the pla this planet is going to, to become. And also there will be like under cities in the water, in the ocean, as was before, you know? But why it is it so important to change the way how we connect with all the spirits that are right now living in the ocean? Because that way of living will force humans to interact with the, all the spirits that are already in the ocean. You know, uh, you can see that in some places in Asia where they have this under uh, construction where you can see portions of the sea, of the ocean and people is underwater. And that means people will get, will need to get the necessity or will force it to see more as a lady life, dolphins, whales, you know, turtles, because tunnels will be built you know, underwater, and they will have these kind of windows, you know, connected where you will be able to see them. So the perception about who is the one who, who coexists with us is going to change about thinking this planet was only ruled by humans, you know? And then you will understand, no, they also coexist with us. And one of the missions about that is to be a channel of their language. Is channeling where they want, or they want to be here about how to make the new leadership of this planet. Like before building something or designing something that will affect portion of the ocean, we have to start releasing them to telepathic, telepathical communication, to speaking with them, asking them advice, because they will be able to give very important information about currents of the ocean, marine currents in the ocean, you know, intensities, where is the best place, what to avoid. And that is a way how they will be integrated into the decisions of the planet, because they exactly channel the language of Lemuria beings. And then it's another way how everything is going to be, um, to be worked. So when we have, we started to do this uh, work and then we started to tell authorities to tell governments stop buildings in the shore of the ocean is going to be lost all then is destined to disappear. So it's not good, you know, it's not good time for, no, for doing <laughs> any investment in ocean shore because they will destroy it. The, the also that means affecting that more tsunamis will can because they need a very high number of explosions energy coming for the inner planet 
to make Lemuria go fast into, you know, the process of ascension, you know? And they, they, they are now showing me the last, uh, uh, remember that when it was uh, happened to Japan many years ago, they had a very huge uh, earthquake, you know, remember, and a big tsunami that remove a lot of all energy. That has to happen because Japan is so important in terms of opening portal for Lemuria. And all these countries, Japan, China, places like Taiwan, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, all these, you know, all these uh, countries that are like islands or so connected with the, ocean, with the ocean, you know, in the Pacific are so important for the activation of Lemuria. So they can be avoid, we can avoid in that places, they always suffer very, very intense problems related with movements because they are um, in the sector of the um, fire system network of the planet, but also Peru belongs, you know, all the countries that are towards Pacific Ocean that belongs to the system of Lemuria. And it's the fire, volcano activities, but that is going to increase in the next years. And we can avoid that. So instead to think about with fear, we have to do, we start to start working about planning the new planet to receive that kind of energies, you know? People moving more to mountains. And if you are close to the ocean, though in the flat, like 200 meters over, you know, or 150, enough, you know, um, time to run to become but it's not something that is not good i mean there are so many governments building things in the shores of the ocean when they know they are in that system with a lot of movement in the in the in the energy network and they for good it's like people when we were speaking erica the last time why in la florida you know in all these places like Miami, or this territory where they have um, a lot of tornadoes activities. This is, the, the earth is speaking very hard, Sophia. There are no places for people living. These are places where they have like more than 300 portals being activated right now. And that only way how these portals can change the spectrum of the north of the planet is through the tornadoes. So the same happen over the continent is happening under the continent. So this kind of energy as tornadoes imagine coming from the bottom to the planet to up and then you know checking the hair quakes quakes you know the quakes happen. <laughs> Imagine like that kind of tornado coming from the bottom to the top. And the same go up, creating up to clean the atmosphere, to change the frequency of the planet because water is not only liquid. Planet, water is, only, is also gas. Where is coming the rain? From the, from the clouds. So in the same moment, huge move, movement happened into the water and we call them like tsunamis. Also has to happen with the water that is in gas. So we have tornadoes and we can avoid that. And we, when I say we, is the one who are outside the planet and who are working with high technology to create that movement. And that's something is very important to know that it's not only the planet by itself who create these movements. These movements, 
that you call tsunamis, fires, and everything is also created by oxide with very uh, high technology. Because it's the only way how this planet can go forward to the ascension. So you can complain. It's no good people investing again in building houses and places that we know are going to disappear. So better change of place to live. You know, because there are places that are not destined to live. There are places that are destined to disappear in a new, the new way how this planet is going to be, you know, building. That is going to be happening for the rest of 20, 30 years forward. You know, it's not like now, but it's like you can do a, a long plan when you already know for science information that those places are unstable and dangerous because all the time for each seven years or something, something like that is going to happen and no one human can stop doing that. And we can know, we are not allowed to stop that. We can't, you know, no, no one can stop that. So when you say who I am, and right now, who is speaking? Oh, he is a Kiksukaleksuku, he is speaking galaxy core. We try to make people understand the value of life and why they have the blueprints inside their bodies. So you already know in advance what is going to happen in you. Why you persist, why you continue, why you force to be in places where you blue, your blueprint is in risk. And naturally, even it could hurt a little hard. When humans die in the ocean, the blueprint gets integrated with more in an easy way because it's water that returns to water. So the, that is a very important. It's also why in the best things, when the babies go the water divine, you know, is in the water. But not in the way, how do you sing? But it must be uh, right now, you know, it's been happening. Putting signs in the tear eyes of the babies or creating trauma on them you know, when they put in the water and take it and down, it's not in that way. Um, we we are trying to make a difference about how connect humans with water. It must be in a lovely way, never in a chaotic way, never blocking energies, never, never. So in the same way, you die in water. Humans are created in water inside the bodies of the mothers, and they are swimming in water. So you are created in water and must die in water. So the right way how to die is being burned and we put into the water to return to the water. And that is so important. Or in a lake or in a river, try if you are able to return into the water. That is why in some religions, for them it's so important doing the ritual of death into the water. But not because they say goodbye to the one who dead, who died, it's because they know they are becoming again water that is life. So yes, my role is so complex. That is why my, my, my obsession, if you can call that, feeling water inside me, I need to take like three or four baths every day, every single day, because otherwise I can survive. Because I am a water being, 
rising up the water framework of this. When a session we fill it up, we already complete for the five dimension. Everything that you know about this plan is going to change. People will must to understand that we have to release love through tears. We give you the power to cry. It was to activate the blueprint of your body through love. To make the water rise up and came as tears. To make the expansion of love be every moment bigger and bigger. But it wasn't our intention that Christ came from fear or for pain. That is not the cold of water that we once you came came through your body we don't want the negative form of the water the ugly form of the water we want you create you want you create high divine frequency of water being created by you when you cry so even teaching humans to cry is a divine mission. Teaching humans to cry. Because it's not the same when a little child of four years old cry because he wants something from the store. That is not a divine cry. It's an expression of the ego Crying, the one who wants to possess something and use the emotions to manipulate the parents, his parents, the society. If you want your child to stop crying, giving him or her what he wants, he or she wants, and not is that. That is a cry from the three dimension. In the high frequency dimension, Taking care of water or the blueprint means to teach humans to cry in a lovely and high frequency way. That is used to tear for the risings, tears of compassion, tears of mercy, tears of forgive, tears of happiness. And you have pain to let others have empathy with you. So that is why when I have my sessions, when I work uh, cleaning up beaches, for me it's very important to be in peace with the ones who work with me. Because if someone made a thing up activity in with accepting with, hung, with anger, you know, in a negative way, the power of the cleaning is going to be reduced because it's going to be in a negative way, not in a lovely way. So we have to change that. We, we need to teach others to be in a mercy, compassion, love the status, to understand only being able to manage our emotions in a blueprint category frequency, then we will be able to take care of the water of the planet. It's a very huge difference when you do something for this planet with a high wave of move and manage your emotions that when you do because someone requests to you to do it, it's not the same. When someone clean a beach because really love the planet, the who one who is being forced to clean a beach is waiting just to get out 
because that frequency is not helping the planet. It's going oppositely. I see my, my cat is, is crying. Let me let me take him for a moment, please. Sorry. So that is why um, I have been working for so many years with children. It's not a division, it's not like acts of moving here and doing my ecological, my environmental work here. For me, everything, oh, sorry. You hear me? Yeah. So that's why for me, working with children is so important because for me, it's not a difference between doing arts movement and doing environmental work. If I don't take care of the star seeds, of the innocent ones, and help them to rise their love, so activate the water that is inside them, how I will pretend they will take care of the ocean? Everything is one. Everything is one. And every drop of water that we are drinking is coming from the ocean. Because the rain is creating in the ocean. So without ocean, we wouldn't be able to have the water that we drink every moment. We belong to the ocean. We have portions of, of the ocean. We are the ocean in human bodies. That could be the best way to describe this. We are the ocean in human bodies. And the same is every kind of being existing here. So I will not say because I live in New Mexico, or I live in Kansas, or I live in Colorado, and I don't have any relationship with the ocean, I must not do anything with the ocean. That is the horrible, you know, uh, false uh, information that every human can, you know, see that they are not related because they don't live near to the ocean. That's false. We have to connect and we have to take care of the rivers, seeking the connection the ocean has with the rivers, with the lakes, with the mountains, with the clouds. If we don't take care of the ocean, there is no way life is going to be in this planet. So that is why we need to, we have to, you know, increase the blueprint conscious the blueprint conscious that means understanding that we are only one and everything is connected among us and see i i had when well, i was ruled to bring some cards connected with the ocean for today and see this one is a woman who is swimming and is connected their hands you know with a light but it is also water and water is here and inside there is water so the blue print coat again you know and then I have this one speaking about the Lemurian energy, you know, how we really connect us because that is something that is so important for humans to understand. To humans to understand. So I say, I am a lover of the ocean, but I don't take care of my own water, so you are not a lover of the ocean. You are everything rest, but you are not the, a lover of the ocean. Only when you take care of your own body, you can be a lover of the ocean. It's the only way. The road to rise up the five dimension 
is starting for the most important spiritual mission everyone has that is loving themselves. We have to learn to love ourselves as first. Even before you say, I love God, you have to understand that you must to say, I love me because love, because I am part of God. So the only way you can say, I love God is telling yourself, I love myself because I am part of God. You can love anything outside you that you don't experiment first for yourself. Because in the way that we realize that we are this water divine, we are the blueprint of creation of this planet, that we carry the code of the ascension in our bodies. So I say, I have a divine body and I love myself because I am beautiful. So then you say, wow, this is incredible, a very evolutionary, you know, high technology. Humans is a high, high, very high technology, you know. And then you will understand, wow, and this is only me. And you will see around you all the rest of the high technology being in this planet. And then you will realize the power is coming. Wow, you know, but first we have to see our first home, our fist, our first body that are us. That is the only way. So that's why for me, in speaking in that language, um, human language, mental health is so crucial for the ascension of the humans. Mental health. To take care of their mental you know, the mind of the people, the mental health of the people. Because not everybody will, be under, will understand to speak about their emotions through God's words. But they could tell them, you know, do a therapy, working with psychologists or wherever, you know, in human, in human ways. Because it's so important to work with the emotions of humans. The evolution is not about the technology is not about how much money I do, how much success I am. No, because we have the power to destroy that in one minute. In one minute, a huge disaster can happen in your building. Your money is only a paper printed. And if a fire is coming, you will lose all that. And you can become poor in your tents from one night to die to the next day. And that it doesn't belongs to you. And nothing really belongs to you because when you die, you don't bring with you anything to the next dimension. So the fact is not any human belongs, has a property. No one of us has properties. We are only using temporal users. And everything that we get is actually being obtained for giving to others. And that is so important to work in mental, the mental health, to work in the emotions of the humans, because not everybody is ready to understand what we are speaking right now, but we have the tools. Many life workers are psychologists and work as therapists. Why? Do you really understand why? Because we have designated them to help to others, no use, sorry, to avoid the use the blueprint in a negative way. Like sa, like sa, ba, like sa. The water, when it is transmuted in a um, solid energy and is moved and activated to kill others, to create rapes, 
to make a lot of horrible actions that create pain to others. The water is not anymore water. It is transformed in solid, like ice. But it's no more the flow and all the emotions are blocked and contained in the way of the water, or the water present themselves. So when there are governments and people who activate water in negative ways, all these um, structures of the, the cell of the water that you can see, you know, in beautiful shapes and in negative shapes are created inside the human bodies. And they, they got solid. So in all these territories where the water is in solid ways inside human bodies, it's not flow of energy. It's like energy content, but not activated. So it's hard for us to work in the territories with the Lemurian energy. Like for example, in Russia right now, in Ukraine, Ukraine, you know, in the places where Palestine, in Yemen, in, in places in Israel where normally used to happen right now situations with uh, arms, with guns, with violence, in all these places, uh, it's not easier to create peace because the uh, the water has created already very negative expression of water. It's not in a divine way. It's water activated in accept, revenge, pain, hate. The lowest frequencies exist. So negativity is around the humans in that way because the water already becomes nice. You know, it's not any more liquid. So in that places, it's hard for us to be able to make Lemuria being activated because the emotions are being stuck. They are blocked. People want, you know, kill. They want to do negative actions, but as mass, you know, mass, mass people in quantity, you know, as individuals. So when we speak about Warden of Blueprint of the Asic territory, they were the ones who are around the places has to work a lot in try to speak more about compassion, forgive, unity. We need to remove these statements of energy that right now are in, a, in, in gray, are in black, in brown colors. There are no energies uh, that used to be more, you know, like in white, golden, in pink, in uh, violet, or blue energies, you know, that they are very dense right now there. And that doesn't help to uh, the Venus school um, reactivated in the planet. Why they say Venus or why we are speaking about Venus? Because Venus is a planet of love. It's a huge master. The one who are Venusian, they are the messengers of love of this planet that they, they Venus is a huge, imagine it's like a huge planet of school planet to teach how to activate love in the system. And Venus has been, uh, ruling this planet, but Venus doesn't have the uh, foundations of Sophia planet that are in the mountain system that we have. And that energy, crystals, you know, uh, quartz, diamonds, gold, all these minerals are so, so, so uh, uh, powerful. That, that is why this planet is so important for the other planets to be able to bring the peace into the system. But Venus 
is uh, a, a planet of the um, king rate. Now, every planet has a different uh, rate that who's ruling in the moment because they, are, they could change in times. But Venus, that's why everything when you call Venus the planet of the love, or they relate with Cupido, or they relate Venus with the, 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 the king of love, you know, is because it's right. Venus ruled love. It's a school of love. But that portion of Venus who is to be able to activate the water in all these crystals. Because crystals are actually solid water. If you study, you know, different kinds of crystals, what they say is liquid water. It's liquid water. So all these crystals are so important to keep the energy, the cluster among different planets. Not only the seven or nine power planets that people know, it's because they are more than that, but the technology of the planet has not been able to see them, you know. So this planet has uh, all these codes and this is a, a, a planet being created among 200 planets. So here is like a very beautiful planet. Very few planets are like this planet. It is, it is, it is a, it's not a school planet. We used to be, including uh, Ursula, who is being, we used to say that um, a planet Earth is a school planet that hu the human came to experiment, you know, but no, it's not that. This is a false theory. The truth is planet Earth is a very high evolutive planet where the most high frequencies must to come here to uh, make the frequency rise up again to allow other planets to be in peace. So when someone say to you, I don't want to come back again to the earth because I am tired, we must tell you, you have the gift to come to the planet because this is a very high frequency planet in a biological uh, uh, works, in terms of biological works. Every being being created here, here means a lot of millions of uh, research. No. Earth is 200 planets. 200 planets have planet Earth to be created. Because it was created to keep the balance. It was a um, tax. It was an intergalactic mission to create a planet who could allow to have peace among these 200 planets. We, we needed to experiment, to build something among the diversity. So Asia's one needed to give something. Do you think this planet has so many motherships, beings, archangels, Elohim working, protecting, speaking to you? Is no will be so important? It will not have sense to keep this planet alive with all these atrocities that has already happened here if would it be so important? Why we coming from other constellations, we came here, leaving our home. Why we will do that? Why the interest in this planet? It's because who was created this planet is a very, very important planet for the system. This planet Earth collapse, all these trees of species among different planets could collapse as well. That is why when you were sent here as a star seed, 
two must to take your role in a very important and serious way. You being so old, so important, come, would come here only to have a normal life as a human. Why you will have these sickest powers? If you know will be so important. Why? Bad people forgot they are divine. And the time against the same humans are reducing. The only way how we can keep this peace among us is letting know to the one who are able to listen, to act, to activate the blueprint means the codes of love in water shape. That is why we emphasize that destruction being doing to mother, truth dumping of trash is a felony, it's an intergalactic felony. So the karma of the ones who are destroying the planet bringing all this mental disturbance into the ocean, through rivers, they are, be, they, they are going to get a very high punishment in the jury, in the Akashic Council, because your actions has consequences. Is it so one who is watching this program belongs to an enterprise or to a government and has done this kind of horrible situation? We are warming you right now. This has consequence in your cash records. But the level of impact of karma when it's massive is very different than a karma that is individual. So all the ones who got roles as presidents, ministers, parliaments, owners of enterprises, who are still to people who destroy the mother, has has to a very long, long, long karmatic, you know, road to come. And the thing is, there is punishment in the galactic system. There are jails in the galactic system. It's not only that you go, because there doesn't exist what people say about going to the, um, to the fire, you know, underworld. It's not about that. That doesn't exist. Our cause doesn't create a kind of the hell. Exactly. The hell doesn't exist. It doesn't exist also the heaven. It's a frequency who exists. So you live in hell because your thinking and your thoughts are negative and that, that is your hell. But actually we have galactic gel. We have galactic jury. Remember the movies, the Star Wars. It's the same. It's the same. That is how this works. So, being here, talking to an audience, and here also Erica and Terry, uh, the, the role that we have is speaking about these important issues for evolution of the cosmos is having this why I am here is to take my responsibility seriously. It's not about me doing yoga. It's not about going to do Pilates or how I shape or going to the top of the Everest to show others how much I have uh, make an evolution with my human body 
No, God is not in that way. And it's not about that way who we want to emphasize your word. Your word is not about only you. Everything that you do must create change around you. It's not about my, me as famous. The thing is, is I have one million followers is because I really want one million followers telling together, we are God in action. 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 Everything we do must be followed by actions. It's not about to get more followers and to get money because I become more famous. It's because I am someone who must to make others to do actions. That is why we are here. So the ones who only see that doing a job of God, doing a prayer in the temple, and then in the rest of the week, don't do anything. They are fake workers of God. Fake workers of God. They use God to get something for themselves, but they don't activate God to do something through themselves. It's a huge difference. Today, why I, I, I feel like being a star seed is totally a revolution of mercy and compassion and is requesting us to go into a different way how we have been working in the name of God. And so we take a card, because I love cards, to, to know what, um, what is the vibration, what is the frequency that we have to focus right now to make the blueprint of this planet to rise up, wherever you are. So now, because we are three, I would like you to put your hands into the front of the screen so I can feed your energy. I will show right now one, one card to see the message. So this is a card that came. The mirror where you can see yourself, a reflection of you. And this, see the very important color here is the pink color that is about Venus energy, speaking about the love chakra. Then you have the golden around the, around the mirror, you know? That means the connection with God. And then you have the blue here the water, you know. So what they are telling that is a time to flow. We rise the energy of the golden frequency of God to water. See? It, this is a oh, tree. One of us is bringing pink, the pink flame, yeah? All that is bringing the golden, and the third is bringing the blue. So here, Erica is bringing the pink energy. Terry is bringing the golden energy. And me is bringing the blue energy. The Trinity allows us, when we see each other in front of the mirror, that means the water reflection. When we see us, in the water of the ocean or the river, lake or whatever kind of water, even in a small container that we can have in our homes, what is going to see for yourself? 
no, is the presence of God. You, because that will be is when we say, okay, I am divine. Because I am serving in my mirror the divinity of God. But for that, we need to activate lost frequency in our battle path. And it's important to see, you know, Terry is wearing pink. Erica is wearing blue. And I, I am bringing pink, part of blue, you know, the white. But, you know, so you have also the lotus flower here, you know. And the thing is, nothing is um a consequence a coincidence you know why we are wearing this color and we didn't know this they mean the main here is the blue the blue and the, the the pink you know the main colors this car is going to appear so they are requesting us to continue working with love and the water water is so essential for the ascension you know so that is why it's too important to, to see the divinity, to understand also the language of Lemur. My cars fall down. I will show one card of these other cars that are so beautiful from the ocean. You know, and we are going to receive just to end because I, if you have another question, you can let me know, you know, at this moment, um, what is the mesh of the ocean? Because we have been speaking about the ocean and the importance that why this planet is water, mostly, and no, it's a planet of only continent because then all the planets, they are more like that. You know, also they are etheric planets, that all the planets is only energy. So let's see. Interesting. That planet, the planet, the water of the planet, they say habladurias is when you speak things that they are not true. You know, words without sense. And this is um mermaid is a uh, I call how do you call um um well it's a male that is it's not a mermaid that uh, we call I don't in this moment I don't no um in this moment I don't remember the word but anyway it's coming with a sword into the up uh, to the top but it, it's a charm boy you know it's a charm boy so what, what the, and they are charts, see? No? Not a siren? Yeah, it's a siren, but they are, they, they are charts here. Oh, those Where, are sharks, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, those the, are... so the meaning of this, of, of this card is about the, the truth about why is planet, a planet of water must to be told. You know, they, they're speaking about that. The ocean wants to stop the fair way whole human has been treating them, treating all the beings been there, whole human have been treating water around the last year, especially for the last 200 years. So that they are trying to, to say, you have to change the perception of the ocean. The ocean wants to speak with the truth, but the, the, for that, you, the human has to let it go. The fake version of what means ocean, what is the ocean, you know? And that means to start working with children, they are males. Because it's when the time when they become teenagers, when normally the, the family start telling children, boys don't cry. Okay, so when you are a little, ch when you are a, ch a child, like four, five, six years, when someone, cry, they cry, they see normal, but when they become nine, 
10 years old, they used to say, man, I'm just strong, you know, you can't cry, don't hide your emotions, you need to, to keep strong for your family. So this is a teenager. It could have like nine years old, you know, and they are, they, they, they are speaking about helping them, you know, helping them to open their emotions because we need to educate children to bring the right coat of water to of tears. Well, we were speaking about that, where we need to make a conscious way how to smooth ourselves of water, our atoms of water in a high frequency version. That means to be in happiness, in peace, in love, in compassion, you know, let it go fears, upsetting, hate, and all these negative ways of feeling emotions, you know, revenge, violence, all this. And that is why they are speaking the cue about how to change the frequencies of planet is working with teenagers, working with children. In the moment, they most need to know how to learn to manage their emotions. We have to teach children to work with the water that is inside their bodies. So this is like at the task they were is right now giving us, you know, it's like giving that tax about giving the power again to our children to be emotional, beautiful, positive beings. Becoming them mercy. So he's coming with a sword of justice. He is, it's a Triton. Triton is the name of the mer's, uh, mermaid. Okay, if you see is a Triton that is in blue. So it's a justice. It's like, it's time to bring justice to the, our, our children. To letting them to express their emotions instead to, you know, because how we create soldiers. No one can kill someone who doesn't have feelings. It will be so bad. But when you reduce or eliminate love or the feeling of the right way of using water, it's very easy for someone to kill or follow rules because they were training to stop feeling, feeling weak, you know, to, to cry. They say, no, that is from, from girls, you know? But actually, they are telling that we are, the woman has been in some way forced to be more elevated instead of men because they decided women cry, men work. A man are strong, a woman are, are weak, and only mothers, you know? So now they are, the planet is speaking about bringing again justice to children, especially male children, to be able to work with their emotions. So mental issues, again, is so important. Another important, why well, wild sharks, you know, whales, no dolphin, no turtle, because normally people relate, you know, um, the lies, they relate shark with killers. You ha they have a bad background, you know, but that is a fake reality about who they are. So they want to change also that spectrum, you know, that idea about what is the role of beings like charts, you know? So they want to break the fakes about what means water and what means to be a water inhabitant on the ocean. So this is a very beautiful, for me, it's a very beautiful card. It's very precise about the message they are bringing with a specific public, a specific method and perceptions, you know? So uh, if you want to have another question, uh, because I can only stay until 1 p.m. Well, I don't know, Terry, if, if you had any questions. I took a lot of notes on the things that you were saying. And I believe one of the first things that you said was that the earth is the heartbeat of this solar system. 
Was that exactly? Yes. yes. That's why in the beginning of the beginnings, when the in the middle time, there were theories about what is the Earth. The channelers were confused because they saw the planet as the center of the solar system and the other planets around. And then it was changed by the sun being the center and the planets around the solar system. But that perception is was because in the energetic way, the Earth is the planet who rules the solar system. But of course, the sun is in the middle because it represents the version of Ra in this system. The Ra that means God. If you, you know, so that is why. That is why um, it's a planet who is a very particular planet, but energetically speaking, is so important for in terms of the others, man. You know, that's why we are always visited, it's because who we are. It's a very small uh, point, it's a very small planet in compared, for example, with Pluton, that's huge, you know. But um, it's a planet who is concentrated. It has concentrated the energies. So, for example, uranium is so, uh, the why there's also has been a lot of dark entities, you know, dark uh, multidimensional beings is because uranium is a planet, because the energy that is taken to metal, um, metal activities business, you know, has been destroying different crystals, uh, portals, places, has been used to take this energy coming to create new technology in all the planets. Wow. It's because the power of, of the power of Mercury, Uranium is very um, uh, important for others planet, not all the planets have been playing in a positive way, you know, because the same we have bad presidents, they are also bad leaders in another planet. So it's not that the Earth, or what Sophia has been ruling, is not only that belongs only to this territory, this is the way who has been ruling most of the planets. It's not only that only represent here, because remember, this planet has been co-created, so we bring the, the behaviors and ways of living of different interdimensional beings who has been also ruling this planet. You know? that's, <laughs> why the, that's why the meaning company has been so strong in this planet. As in, and the meaning company who make a lot of problems with Mercury, for example, in the Amazon, why? Why use Mercury to get the gold? It's because the pollution they create into the water with intention to block the blueprint of the planet and to avoid the planet made an evolution so they can control people living here to get more energy for free as a oh. parasite, you know, to hold technology in another planet. So literally taking what they want and actually creating situations where the mercury is destroying the water and blocking the evolutionary blueprint of the planet at the same time so that we can remain in this state, which is, you know, when, when I hear about someone saying they want to block the sun, which is important to us during our evolution at this time, like these things are to keep us exactly where we're at. Uh, distracted with television programs and like you say with money and and how do you look and you know am I successful at my job and to keep you distracted from these things when I see people when I see them knocking down so many trees and just putting up so many buildings when I still see empty houses down the street and and building cars when there's so many cars at the car lot you get to wondering when does it stop like how many more new cars do we need? How many new buildings, how many new houses do we need? And how do you plan to sustain it all? And where do you think we're gonna get oxygen from if you keep knocking down all the trees? And 
just the responsibility to see people, people throw trash in their own yard or they walk down the street and they throw trash or, you know, um, I saw a video where the girl was on a party on a boat and they just threw the bottles in the water and, and it was like, who cares? It's just a big garbage can. And it, and it just, I get to thinking one day we'll just be driving down the street and we'll just be like pushing our cars through trash. Like we're literally- well, Yeah, well, we, we, we have to change in the perception of love. Because it's one of the most important uh, messages I've been getting about the influence of the film uh, company, you know, the movies company, television uh, campaign to create a fake um, perception of the planet in the future. And one of the campaigns that has been very, very success is creating the apocalypse uh, version of the planet. That means that maybe for future fiction, um, uh, you know, movies, maybe the eighty the, from the between the eighty and ninety percent have a very negative uh, perception of the planet, where you see already the planet destroyed, full of trash, without uh, forest, whatever. So that campaign that is coming from uh, Illuminati networks and from. Um, Oh, you know, uh, Masones, uh, because we, we have to to make difference. They are different kind, but this is like the one who rules a lot into the entertain uh, network worldwide has been to create a fake illusion of whole this planet. Predictive programming. Predictive exactly. They, programming. Yeah. It, they are managing to make people feel that that is true. So they surrender into the oh, fake, wow. into that, into a fake uh, future of the planet. Right. So what we have to do is all the positive. Is stay to enforce this uh, negativity perception that planet is going to be destroyed. We have to start looking into the positive perception of the five dimension. That is our role. Our role is not enforced, but already is happening with journalism, um, entertain campaigns, is to enforce that a new planet is being right now co-created. Because the fact is the planet is going to be destined to be covered by water. So no is going to be enough space for more industry. You know. And it's no more space for doing meaning because the human will not have the space to do that. They will be forced to create technology to transform the islands of trash into islands for living because they will need that space that is right now being occupied by trash to become in housing. So what we have about that, it would they turn the little trash islands into an actual island? Exactly. So what we have to work right now, within the most, uh, you know, evolution from us, is creating a global network to start designing the new earth. You can call the new United Nations uh, uh, Council, no, but instead as a one who's ruling for the governments we start to think about creating a network, a worldwide network of us to design this new planet. How we would like to see the planet in 20 years? What we can do from us as individuals to make that possible, to keep that hope and the faith means most than the hope because the hope is only so that it could happen. But faith is that we really believe that it's going to happen. That is the difference between hope and faith. In hope, maybe. Mm -hmm. In faith, I know it's going to happen. So what it has to enforce is a staff for hope to save people the alternative and the options. And when already people believe totally that that could be real, so we start working in faith. You know? So it's like you are in a teaching at university. You bring you to your students alternative to plan A, B, C, D, E, 
and you show all this them, and the student will show what is the best for them. But we have to do the same. We have to use the technology benefits, benefits, the positive one. We have to use the studies that we said already have about the environment. And we have to use that to co-create, you know, how this new planet could be built from where I am, high in the rising up the frequency of the planet. Knowing all this information in the if I know my planet is going to be covered by water and many places, islands are going to disappear, whole technology can help us to build a new way of living because or it's going to be trash or it's going to be humans place for housing. It is a, it's a true. We can't pretend that is not true. So, uh, you know, it's like we, we have the power right now. And we need to enforce the positive uh, future in the high frequency future. You know? I have to say this, uh, and what you're saying about hope and faith, and we can't pretend it doesn't exist because to pretend it exists, that to me, that's living in fear versus what are we going to do about it? Because you can, oh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to, oh, I hope this doesn't happen, you know. Or let's face the reality of what is really happening and do something about it. And uh, that's all I can get out of that is just like, you know, what 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 are we going to do about it? And are you going to be a part of the problem and ignore it, you know? I kind of freak out when it's time to recycle. <laughs> it's like, and I know in Germany, in Germany, they wouldn't take your trash if you didn't recycle. And then when I'm here, I, I'm back here and I'm like, wow, like you got all the lights on all day. You know, you, you know, people walking down the street throwing trash and, and there's like no awareness of it. And I, I don't know. I kind of. But you know what? I, what? I, what, you know what, what? They, you know what they showed us too? They showed us a thing where they said, oh, even if you do recycle, the people at the um, facility, they just take it to the regular dump. So then they make you feel like, oh, there's no point in recycling. You see, like you're saying, is that also a manipulation on, on their part to try to see, make you, you, like you, no you, need, you need to be sure that you need to be sure that it's going to be a time in this planet. Yeah. All this trash has been dumping to very high evolution technology is going to disappear. And that is something that you will see for the next 30 years. It's going to change. It's going to make a lot of shifts in the planet. The problem with that, with, with the people is living right now, how they are greedy. You know, if they live in fears, even all this good news coming from the earth, they are not really able to enjoy because they are so afraid. Right now, they can live. They live in fear. So what we have to do is change the way they speak about this. Working in a masculine divine to make the children become in masculine divine human beings. Leaders of that, the That is the cue of the ascension. We Leaders have to work in the boys' children to work about their emotions and mental health. That is the cue of everything. If we rights, children, they are compassionate, loving, they will not want to take a gun in their hands. They will not be able to shoot anyone because their energy is so high. So if we were in that level, millions, millions of children will not become in soldiers. No will come in sicarios. They will not come in killers. They will not come in robbers because the frequency is going to be high. But it's not something that belongs as responsibility to the school system. Because the first school is the family. The school system is something new. How <laughs> that education model that we already know? 100? The industrial, you know, movement that was for the last century was the one who increased and made massive more the education system to create new workers. 
to be able to go to, you know, to get workers for the new industries. So they needed the school to create workers. But before that, how people were rising up for the family, for the communities. This is new. A school as a school is something new. No more than 200 years. Even that, no, no more than 100 and, I don't know, 180 years. It's not so long. So we can give the responsibility to the school system and the teachers to rise up the children in love. Is us to our son, daughters, nieces, nephews, friends of our relatives in our community world is in us because then one of them will become a teacher and then will be a new teacher. So if we have for 1,000 children from then 20 becoming a teacher, you know, so we have 20 teachers. They are going to do some revolution in education. But no one teach could, can teach something they never experienced. If they came for, for, with trauma from their homes, they will raise traumatic child, children. Right. There is no way. It's, you know, you can ask something they never live it. And the education system worldwide is with traumatic teachers. Even Amen. they show education as the last option because they think they will not get so much, so much money. So many of them, they, they do not because they want to teach, because there was no another option the university brings to them. So what, what we can ask to the education system right now, more than vital education, but the main education is coming from home. Yeah. And you can't, yeah, if people can't experience something, you know, I, I say this too, like if, if I've never been experiencing love, I can't give it to anyone else. So compassion, I can't give it until I learn it, you know, love, compassion, even how to cry, you know, even as exactly. a- Exactly. Like, even how to cry, you know, use your cries to manipulate your mother. You but cry I was be honest. To, to cry must be honest. You're taught not to cry as a as a girl. She's taught not to cry. Be strong. Be strong. Don't cry. You know, I yeah, cry they, they, listening to you talk. <laughs> yeah, the, what they say is the cry never must be for to manipulate. The cry must be honest. But when you are really in pain, people don't believe you anymore, and you are because you were crying for to manipulate them. So they were important. Okay, Tracy, Terry, do you have any questions so I can answer before I continue with my activity? Um, well, no, I know that, that uh, your time is, is growing short, but this has been such an amazing, heart opening. Your, your message is, is and I'm and I'm crying. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the tears are not being manipulative. They're just beautiful. Your, oh. your message is just so loving. Thank, thank you, Debbie. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, thank you for letting me be part of this um speaking with you, you know. Uh, because it's, it's how God works in a beautiful way, you know, to make uh, justice for for the planet. And um, just to end, and I, I took this card, but I took the card because it was a painting here, but now I saw the eagle in the back. And that's very important for the audience who's going to see this video later. This is a hair that is around a butterfly. You know, the butterfly is there. And this is, uh, again, the pink love that kills everything. But love is surrounded by water. The only way how this can be activated is learning how to activate our inner water. And you see how the, the, the lights rise up right now, you know? 
is 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 change. You will see in the video my energy around change. You know, that when sometimes I speak and everything's got to become wide around me is because the frequency is so high in this moment here, and sometimes can become again uh, normal. But what I wanted to share is when it's in the back is the ego, and they say vision. You know, the, and then we were speaking about having the eyes of the eagle now from now it's time to see the world this see that they are flying that the eagle fly and see everything as one ocean wow everything as one ocean that is a message you know to see with the eyes of the eagle because the new vision of the planet is to see the planet as one ocean not any more pacific ocean of climate in the, you know, no maybe this different, the different kind of oceans. It's not we are speaking about unity and love. And being the flow of the water, we are in Aquarius time. And that is why it's so important, you know, to, to be in the flow. Well, thank you for everything. I really, thank you. Very, very happy. Just let me know when it's going to be this, um, video for others to be able to hear yes i will definitely share it and then maybe you you have links or any a page that uh yes i have i will i will share with you uh because is uh semia de pista guanjin yeah but i will i will i will give you by email but okay, no I, have, I, I have a new website Yay. And I have a new email with my services, you know, because the only way we have to continue doing our missions is uh, we have to work to be able to afford, you know, when we go to do a cleaning in the bow, in the in the ocean, when we go to do a lot, I do a lot of um, free activities for rising up and helping people, but mostly in Spanish. But I think I could create maybe an online free event on Facebook for the ones who speak in English to be able to hear also this kind of message messages. But yeah, they can go to, I will give you all the details. Yes. So that people can, can contact me directly to, to know more about who, who is me and what kind, how I can help them. Okay. All right. Well, I thank you so much. And I know everyone is going to love this. And I am going to share your dancing video with the ocean. So I'm going to attach that to this as well. And I appreciate you for your time. I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we, we, we let Ursula go on forward to her meeting. And you had a lot of feelings and a lot of things to say, Terry, because I, I personally, I was tearing up in the beginning and I still feel the tears like she left. I feel the tears. So um, she, she's um, her, her message is so divine. Right. Um, it's, it's not it's not political, it's not divisive, it's all about a unity of love and, and the water holds, um, holds the key, it holds that, that, that blueprint of, of so much more um, that we are. And it's, um, and you know, what, is, what she said in the next 20 and 30 years, we're going to have to move as a civilization into taking down those man-made structures that stop the flow. So we're, I think we are at a pinnacle now of like what happens in the next little while is how we start to move into that new direction. So a lot is going to have to come down in order for us to be moving into the new into that new flow so it, it's funny the flow is so important and we have so many structures that stop the flow from happening uh, I, I 
told someone about um, that thought too, because, okay, so it was Alexis yesterday talked to us about what moving away from the river because she said she could sense that it's going to flood. And so the waters are going to rise and she could sense it. So this was a big like, what, you know, a big confirmation that, you know, even in Alexis's vision, she saw the water rising. And um, I've heard it said before, I guess, when when you irritate the earth, it has to scratch, you know, like you can't just think that the earth is this beautiful living creature, mother earth, and that you can just keep digging and piling and building buildings and blocking off, you know, all the, the earth, the side, you know, building more sidewalks, right? I, I think so. Remember that song? It was on and on and on and on. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Yeah. You destroyed paradise to build up a parking lot. And that's how I feel like I'm just walking and it's always a bulldozer and construction and digging up all these trees. And it just it just blows me away. Like there are you, I mean, I don't know. How far do people go? <sighs> yeah. I, 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 and I also found it interesting. She said, what happens underneath, what happens above happens underneath. That. And so, you know, we've seen the animals walking in circles, but they're creating those vortexes, right? And so this is a vortex for the energy to move from, from within to move without and from without to move within. So we have that, that movement, those spirals, and, and we know that spirals are sacred um our, our sacred geometry the movement the spirals and so we see it and, and what do we see in water we see vortexes in water you know like the water comes around so there it's it's that movement of the energies right from the top into the deep and from the deep to without and so because we are made mostly of water like she said we are part of it so we're going to feel that that difference and and our emotions are, are what we feel. That's that's the what the water is feeling. That's our emotions are water, so it moves within us. And and so, um, you know, I think that's where. What do we what do we block? The fears block us, and we don't allow those emotions to come because of of fear. And it holds us. It holds us in a in a locked pattern and you know the tears when she talked about the tears the tears allow that flow you know that and, and we know that when do people cry a lot of times their emotions are blocked and they don't even know why they're crying it's because they that dam has to burst and that's it we create dams all the way along but the dam has to burst and and the emotions allow the tears allow the emotions to flow and so we create that flow. It's interesting because our first conversation, my first conversation with her, I, I cried and I told her, and she talked about this uh, in a much shorter fashion, but we just discussed, I felt like it was my job to cry. Like I have to cry and I have done it in the past because sometimes you cry for the earth, right? Or the planet mm -hmm. or the animals or for other people. And you're like crying out, to God to hear, hear me and to come and be a part of the situation. So, but and what she said is that it's important for us. We can cry out to God, but we have to do the action. Do the you know, action. like yeah, we can receive the information, but if it's just sitting there, it just becomes blocked. We have to, we have to also put it out there and allow it to to flow through us. Right, we have to be that. We have to be that river to bring that, um, whatever it is that we have to bring. We don't have to solve all the problems. We just have to bring our part, our part of it. You know, but the, the, we're each a drop in the ocean and we're all important in the drop in the ocean. You know, one drop isn't more than the other drop is. You know, we all make up the body. Yeah.
Um, I was so thrilled. I don't know. It's like when I saw her online and we connected and then was able to talk it. And I was just glad because I'm like, do you see what I see? I think she's amazing. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad somebody could share it with me. Um, I don't really have too much to say about it, except for it's just a beautiful, beautiful message. And it just, it kind of is a reboot in my heart of things that we think are important and we know are important, but we kind of just push it down because we begin to feel hopeless as we begin to see other people maybe not, not connecting to that thought that we've had. So we've kind of just kind of move away from it because it hurts when, you know, no one's joining you in it. And so just to know that there's a movement, well, it's, it's, it's re, like a reigniting of the, the water. And, and maybe it's just a matter of putting our hands around the, the glass of water and just asking, um, you know, our divine essence to... Mm -hmm to just bring us to that point, you yeah. know, that we can Yin. Hmm? And Kuan Yin, because she has the, there is that Kuan Yin water prayer. Yeah. Too. I love it. Um, I love it. And I'm going to post it and share it. And I'll probably break this into a few videos, but then I'll probably do like the one full video and people are like, this is too long. I need little 30 minutes. So I'll, I'll do that too. So look for the full version or the little, you know, the snippet version. Um, I know sometimes people need small doses. So it was just beautiful. And I'm just grateful for anybody watching. I enjoy you. I thank you so much. And we're going to end this here. On honor the love within mm -hmm. us all and just um, um, open up to the emotion and allowing ourselves those moments to cry and let the tears out without having any, <laughs> any purpose for it, just allowing it. For sure. Good night.